And Elta is going to be the target here with Deadly Magic already locked in. And of course, Ooh. with the Brave Spider by Free Marquis, he secures the damage that's needed to take him down. That's a lot of gold taken and first blood for Workoster Force. And now this is what we just saw is Workoster Force respecting the power of the Esmeralda and what it stands for in the lineup that Signal Ultra has. It's such a key component that they have to cancel it out as much as possible. Yeah, it's great actually what Work is doing. They know that this is the main tank. You gotta give it. But right now though, it's gonna be Imba oh. DJ out of Nowhere, RTZ hitting it up, TP to the face a little bit there, right to the captain, trying to prove us wrong on our statements earlier. Yeah, and now this could be a problem though for Signal Ultra, they might not be able to properly contest Turtles so much. Yeah, Turtles definitely a big problem right now, Deadly Magic going down on Janus, will be able to make it out alive though, and fight still going on, Rhea having a hard time controlling this lane, and Imba DJ cannot save him. Kekadot, he's going in for the backup, but looks like he's the one who's going to need it, as work is now dominating on the jungle of Signal. And see, that's how quickly this work lineup can snowball, that early to mid-game orientation. Unravel loves playing that box to tank. His rotation timings are perfect, close to perfect. Nothing's perfect in this world. Kosei now just picking up the Clock of Destiny on the Alice. It's going to be a big problem for this, this next turtle, considering that it's going to be spawning in their lane. That's right, again, top lane. Oh my god, they're not oh. stopping. The punish is unbelievable here for work. They're not slowing down, and true to their word, they were only waiting for level four, Reptar. Oh, what you say? I feel bad for Rhea, man. It's not going his way. And Signal Ultra, it, this compl this entire game is not going their way. You know what? Like I'm going to have to correct myself a little bit. They'll be able to contest this turtle. But instead of they, they, just think of it as Janus. Because Janus can quickly get away as a Benedetta. Maybe he'll be able to go in for a cheeky retribution steal. But that's the most Signal can do in terms of actually contesting turtles. Yeah, because that does. you got to have some items before you get, you get to the fight. Mm. And right now, he is in no shape or form to contest at all. His best weapon is probably just going to be um, Benedetta's ultimate, and that's yeah. not going to be enough here. And dive on the mid lane could be a possibility, but work. Uh, they're just waiting for the stuns, man. They're not even going for long range. Mm -hmm. They're going for layups here. Yep. Layups that they're trying to turn into dunks. I don't know. I can stop it for, for now for the <laughs> basketball reference. <laughs> Signal Ultra needs to stop this yeah. quick work snowball that is just rolling and about to smack them in the face. Yeah. Top lane is not doing so well. Rhea is going to be gone for a very long time in this matchup. The most that he can do is go in with a Falling Star Moon, soak up damage, and hope that someone's going to land a kill, but he himself will not be able to survive long sustained team fights. You have a strong sustained lineup on the side of work and a lot of damage as well. Free Marteze, he's not oh. done. And although the problem is going to be on the bot lane with work, just fighting it off and biting off a little bit more Nick Chu there. That's two kills already for Signal. They're definitely catching up a little bit here and they're kind of flexing as well. Yeah. Flexing that you can't do, you can't keep doing this. What yeah. do it? Exactly. And with Signal Ultra, that is a great turnaround that they needed. And Rhea did what Rhea needed to do. But he was actually able to survive there. And work bit off more than they could chew. Meanwhile, Signal Ultra bit more than chew because they took out chew. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there was a better execution to that. <laughs> I love your attempts, man. <laughs> hey, you're almost there. It's just, almost just there. Keep it going, Reptar. Keep it going. It's like my two pointers are just barely hitting the rim, but at least it's. G grazing the rim just a little bit, but yeah. they're another turtle for work roster force, and it's a nightmare of an early game here for Signal Ultra. The best that they can do is, yeah, go for counter engages as they did in the bottom lane, yeah. but they can't play too defensive because they're up against an Alice and a Bafu who can just surprise them with their back lines. And Janice is the one doing surprising here, surprisingly, mm -hmm. around the uh, turtle pit, as we do see that the oh. Angel Ultimate Heart Guard is going to be able but to save him just in the nick of time. Really, really close. Now we see a lane swap here, which is going to be really sad for the 1-1 one, one, because Aqua Boy now has to farm closer to the second top tower as Esmeralda went down to the bottom lane, but then the bottom tower is broken as well. The side lanes have been really bad right now for Signal Ultra, but Work Oster Force, again, they're just playing with a lineup that they're very, very comfortable with. Yeah. Putting Kosei in the Alice, putting Unravel in the Baksha. Even Chu plays a pretty mean Harley as well. Uh, we don't see it so much because he, he usually goes for the Marksman, but hell, He's making it work. Yep, and definitely that's no pun intended, I'm sure, as mm -hmm. we do see them going on the top side <laughs> with that turret. No defense whatsoever. Kekadot trying to see if he can do some damage on Unravel. Not really happening at this point. And of course, he, I don't see any fight happening for Signal anytime soon because, mm -hmm. again, all their firepower is definitely on Gabi Aqua Boy and Janus, both of which are in no shape or form to take 
these engages. Yeah, it's really just going to be cheeky. Oh, look at that stun on Janus, Beautiful though. Beautiful stun, but Force Unravel will be suffering the brunt of the damage with the rest of War going for the dive under the turrets we go. And that's going to be Kekadot doing some damage with the Chaos Darkening. Not really happening that much. Ray on the back foot going for the Falling Star Moon, not hitting the mark. And once again, the engage kind of falling short a little bit here for Signal, although they did get Unravel at least. At the least, but you're right with what you said there that they really just have to buy their time, wait for a mistake from Work Oster Force. This snowball has just completely rolled up here. It is a 4k gold lead, and some of you might be thinking that's not so bad, but this so early bad. in the game, yeah, before eight minutes, that's pretty terrible. Yeah, I think the best case scenario for Signal is if they can keep even on gold at mm. least, because at least you've got the Wan Wan, exactly. you've got the Benedetta kind of starting to stack up on those items. But mm -hmm. Right now, they are at least two items behind. Yeah. And that is a problem for each of these carries. And because of that, Work is taking advantage. You got Free Martizi going for that turret non-stop on the Lapu Lapu. Mm -hmm. And later on, who can stop this guy? Unless you got a fully stacked Wan Wan. But for the meantime, Work will be dominating around the map. Mm -hmm. And Work is just doing what they need to do to take control of the lanes here. Won't be surprised if Kosei are unra unravel. Might go for a surprise pick-off play if they see the members of uh -huh. Signal Ultra stacking up together like the, like what they did just now in the middle lane. But then at the same time, uh, Three Martizi can also come in with a surprise. Of course, with the Flicker Bravest Fighter smack dab right in the face. Get that stun as well from that two-handed sword uh, with the first skill once he gets that swap. So Signal has to watch for a lot of things here, but they might actually pick out two. Nice attempt there for Signal, but then who will be the one with the last laugh. Killing spree already for RTZ. And they're not done quite yet. Rayo with the backup, and they can do some damage. But Chu with a double on in the fadeaway. Literal fadeaway there mm -hmm. for the main jungle of work. And they're not go they're not stopping at all. Rayo still going for it. Ow. That's already two deadly magics proc. What is happening? What a prolonged team fight here for work. And they can take the turret after that. Yeah, and they could, a work could afford what they did there. Yeah, it was a little bit too greedy, but then it really just provided enough space to first break down the inhibitor in bottom, and then at the same time, they'll be able to take the second tower here uh, in the mid lane. So a lot of people there might be thinking, why was work also for its aggressive? They should have yeah, just backed out. Could have backed off a little. But they got towers. Exactly. And again, I think that did work. Mm -hmm. um, again, I keep saying no. Yeah, it, it, it's it, really it not really a It really is not a point <laughs> at this point. So. Um, I think it does work because, mm -hmm. again, you kind of have to keep choking on Signal Ultra's uh, aggression here. Yeah. You got to keep stifling them. Mm -hmm. That's the word I'm looking for. And stop them from, you know, getting into position for the counter engage. Because exactly. if you give them a chance, I mean, Signal Ultra, they got some pretty good damage if you give them, a, give them that small sliver of opportunity. Yeah, double of Necklace of the Rise picked up by Signal Ultra. Kekadot just picked up his. Imba DJ already built his as Pretty well. Pretty big. He has the Encourage, so that's going to be more attack speed here for Aqua Boys 1-1. One, one. And then at the same time, the Necklace of the Rise of the Lunox will help with the cooldown. So Work Oscar Force has a few more things that they need to respect yeah. here. They have to be careful. Yes, the lead is still very much on their side. It will take so much to go wrong for a team fight to go badly for them, but they have to respect the damage output that Signal Ultra now has. It's not enough to completely turn the game around, but it could be one of those things where the work will just keep to try and crash in, but then Signal's just gonna keep fighting them back. Yeah, just as Reptar said, they did attempt another assassination play, but again, Kekadot with the brilliance will be able to make it out. Mm -hmm. Can even negate some of the damage of Deadly Magic. Mm -hmm. yeah. And again, Double Necklace of Duran slows down Kosei so much. Uh, oh. So it's going to be up to this one. Big fight around the mid lane, and that is going to stop all the minions from going on to the turret. Slowing down the mid, but bottom lane, we still got Lord to answer. Top work wants to take it, and that is no problem whatsoever for the team. Mm -hmm. Great play there by Work. Now this inhibitor turret in the middle. Won't be surprised if it's just going to quickly go down here. The hands of Work, and it does. So Signal, surgical, man. Yeah, so surgical. And Signal Ultra, they're hoping for a Hail Mary at this point. Yeah, you got to go for anything at this point if you're Signal Ultra. Mm -hmm. You got to go for at least one to two kills if you want to make it out of your map. If you want to make it out with your jungle camps. Mm -hmm. I mean, even if you want to walk out of the base, yep. you got to do something. And Kosei, he's just flexing here. And uh, definitely showing that signal, you guys, it's it's quarantine for you guys too. <laughs> it's quarantine. You're not going anyway. Yep, they are going to be 
stuck in base there. Stuck in base. And I think we're going to force though, despite the lead that they have, yeah. Yeah, they're still playing uh, with a lot of discipline, waiting for the next Lord. They can really try to end it here if they can get a pick off, especially with RTZ Selena. Actually, that's what it started, that last fight that mm -hmm. led to all the towers being broken, the top and the mid, because RTZ was able to land a... Uh, an Abyssal Arrow on Rhea, and let's see if it lands again. Oh, almost make it, but not quite. Kose dives in, and again, the slow regeneration really oh. helping to slow down the Alice with the back foot. It's Janus with a kill. It's a shutdown on a Chew, but will be enough. We'll see. Unravel will get the kill onto Kegadot, but Len, Aqua Boy still doing some damage on the back line. He's dancing, he's jumping, but oh, he's oh, gonna go it. down. Aqua Boy, oh my god, the Wan Wan is going to be air crossed. Oh. Oh, man, with damage is real. Double kill already for this guy can you stop him i don't oh. think so janus with a kill and free martizi with the revenge the minions will the not have enough damage oh. but that will be it for that matchup and work caster force showing how it's done